Hey guys, how's it going? So today on BK Sport, it is time for another week that was in sport. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> The lead at the top of the Premier League table has been cut down to just four. Chelsea look to have secured the title, but after their 2-0 loss to Manchester United on the weekend, London rivals Tottenham Hotspur are within four points after their 4-0 victory over Bournemouth. The fact that Spurs are actually going to be challenging them in the end of the season is something of a surprise to most because everyone thought Chelsea had locked it up ages ago. So watch this space, it's going to be a tight running. In the last couple of years, John Terry has kind of fallen out of favour with the starting squad, so he's going to return at the end of season with Chelsea. However, there is big news surrounding Terry because there is potential of a big money offer coming from Al Nazir. Now that's a club in the United Arab Emirates. Ryan and Hove Albion have come up to the Premier League from the Championship after winning the Championship in 2015-16. They will be in the Premier League in 2016-17. Now this next one is a little bit out of left field. Now an African club called CS Sfaxian has been in a lot of drama over the last month or so. Their president Monsef Kemakan actually has a life ban now because he was kissing the officials during the game and apparently he was also sexually assaulting the referees. Never seen that one. No, that, that one. I've never seen that type of thing before. <laughs> That's a strange one. That, That's a strange one. In the Champions League and the miraculous run of Leicester City has finally come to an end at the hands of Atletico Madrid. <laughs> Yeah, baby, the NBA playoffs have started. I don't know why I'm doing this with the New York Knicks. I'm not a New York Knicks fan, but I've got a New York Knicks shirt and uh, Los Angeles Lakers hat. Yeah, I'm looking forward to not seeing them in the playoffs. <laughs> Biggest news comes in the form of Isaiah Thomas, the Boston Celtics point guard. Now, they've got a matchup in the series against the Chicago Bulls. However, a day before the series began, Isaiah Thomas lost his sister in a car crash, which is very unfortunate for him. Now, obviously, that's playing in his mind a lot. He did come out in their loss to Chicago. He did come out and score 30. 33 points, which is incredible. My thoughts are with you, Zara. Joe Johnson of the Utah Jazz has smashed our eight game buzzer beater to take down the Clippers 97 95 at Staples Center. The battle of the MVP race James Harden versus Russell Westbrook, Houston Rockets versus Oklahoma City Thunder. That game ended 118 to 87 to the Houston Rockets. Just before we move on, who do you think is going to win the MVP? James Harden or Russell Westbrook? Comment below. Finally, the Cleveland Cavaliers and the San Antonio Spurs have taken an early 2 0 lead after taking down the Indiana Pacers and Memphis Grizzlies. Former Gold Coast Titans player James Roberts has romped home against his old club as he died and scored three tries to lead the Brisbane Broncos to a 24-22 thrilling victory over the Titans on Friday. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I can't believe it. The St. George Illawarra Dragons are still at the top of the table after taking down a thirstingless North Queensland Cowboys 28-22. Big news out of Cronulla and young Shark Centre Jack Bird has signed a four-year, $4 million deal with the Brisbane Broncos. Kieran Foran looks to be on the move again. Yes? Again. As Newcastle Knights coach Nathan Brown has come out and confirmed there has been talks between the club and Kieran Foran. Finally, the Penrith Panthers continue to show second year syndrome. All the young stars are not performing. They've got a loss 28 to 2 to Cronulla. There needs to be a bit of a rethink. Just wondering, how is that five year plan going, Gus? <laughs> Oh, and Hawthorne, am I right? Am I right? Hawthorne remain winless after four games after a second consecutive loss of 86 points. Last week, they obviously lost the Gold Coast Suns away at Metricon Stadium. This week, they lost to massive rivals at Geelong Cats by 86 points. Points. To round out the 0 and 4 teams to start the season, there is actually three of them Sydney Swans, Hawthorne Horse, as mentioned, and the North Melbourne Kangaroos. Now, obviously, these three all were in the top eight last season, and the Sydney Swans were in the grand final. Who do you think is going to be still 0 and 5 after this weekend? Comment below. Hollywood coach Nathan Buckley has come under fire from the entirety of the AFL after leaving Scott Pendlebury, captain of Collingwood, on the bench for 14 minutes in the third quarter. They were able to lose that game to St Kilda. One of those moments where you're like, why can't it be me? One lucky AFL punter has netted $70,000 of a $10 bet after correctly predicting the winners and the margins of every single AFL game this weekend. <laughs> Can it never be me? Finally, we have a new Ben Cousins in the AFL. Hey, we got some entertainment. But why is it always in Perth? Why is it always in WA? Harley Bennell was ejected from a virgin flight, traveling to the Gold Coast for being too intoxicated. But also, why was he going back to the Gold Coast? That's the real question. Fair way from home, Mongolian can't from In the HSBC Sevens World Series, K 
Canada have taken out the Singapore 7, 26-19 over the USA. An all North American final, what a surprise, good work Canada. Also, with just two tournaments to go in Paris and London, South Africa still lead the series over Fiji by 25 points. Also, just quietly, England are only two points off Fiji in third place. Could they sneak home with the win? Can Fiji do it? Not too sure. Comment below what you think. It's going to be an interesting final two tournaments. It's going to be very interesting. Yes, boys, this is the one you've all been waiting for. Mia Kang, Sports Illustrated model, has said there's a bit of a career switch on the cards with a Muay Thai career beckoning. In Australian horse racing news, legendary race caller Greg Miles has retired after a phenomenal career. He called 36 Melbourne Cups. Now, that is absolutely massive. 36 years of that. Incredible, and good luck to you in the future, Greg. Finally, to finish off with a little bit of cricket, you've got to love a bit of Shane Warne. got to love a bit of Warne in your life. He's come out and he's put the middle finger to the England selectors after they've decided to rest Stuart Broad. Basically, he just doesn't believe in the whole process of resting, which is pretty fair, to be honest. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did like it, please give a big thumbs up so I know that you're enjoying this content. This video obviously comes out every Wednesday so that we can go by the sport that comes out every week. So you're not going to miss a beat. If you are a massive sport fan of any code, then you've got to click the subscribe button below to get this in your subscription feed. Every week, there are game day vlogs. Now, this week, we're going to be going to the Brisbane Raw finals match in the A-League on Friday night. Followed by that, we're going to the Gold Coast Suns match on Saturday. There is a lot of sporting action coming up this week. There is also challenge time every Every Thursday, so come back tomorrow. There is another challenge waiting for you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later.